Today, for our Math Strategies video, we're going to be talking about estimating and measuring with customary units. So the customary system is the measurement system commonly used here in the United States. Okay, so today we're going to talk a little bit about the units we use to measure length, liquid volume, and weight. Okay, so the customary units of length um, these units describe a distance or how long an object is. One of the smaller units are inches. Um, and you can see right beside inch has the IN in parentheses, and that's the abbreviation. If you see something that says 6IN, it probably means or reads 6 inches. Okay? We also have feet. Again, the abbreviation is FT. We have yards and we have miles, okay? An inch is about the width of a quarter, okay? Just as sort of a benchmark for you. So if I had a crayon and I had four quarters lined up beside it, that crayon would be about four inches long, okay? And we usually measure maybe something small like a pencil or a crayon in inches, okay? Feet um, is something we measure maybe height or the length of a room. And one foot is about the length of a loaf of bread. Okay, so you can kind of use that as sort of a benchmark to kind of see how big that is. Um, yards can be used to maybe measure the width of a playground or a park. Um, and a yard is about the length of a baseball bat. So that could be a good benchmark for you to remember. And the last one is miles. And that's something that is usually used for driving distances. Think maybe the distance between your house and the store, or even the distance between two cities. And it takes us about 20 minutes to walk a mile. Okay. So now we're going to talk about um, liquid volume. Okay. And this describes how much space a liquid takes up. Okay, so think about a water bottle or a milk jug. It's going to have those um, units on there that tells you how much liquid is in there. Okay, so we can have cups, and the abbreviation for cup would be C. We have pints, quarts, and gallons. Okay, as you can see, a cup might be um, like a coffee cup. A pint might be the size of the smaller ice cream. I know some ice cream can come um, in bigger amounts like a gallon, but this is more of the smaller ones that you see in the freezer section. We have a quart, which would be a smaller amount of milk, and then of course a gallon. Um, and you can see here, this is how, um, this is kind of shows you how many cups are in a pint and how many pints are in a quart and so forth. So we can see that there are two cups equal one pint. Two pints equal one quart, and then four quarts equal one gallon, or 16 cups equal a gallon, okay? So for the last thing that we're going to focus on this video is weight, okay? Weight measures how heavy an object is, and the two units that we're going to talk about today are ounces and pounds. So the abbreviation for ounces is OZ. And the abbreviation for pounds would be LB, okay? And the weight of one slice of bread is about one ounce, okay? And the weight of a soccer ball is about one pound, okay? So as you begin to estimate and measure with these customary units, think about these benchmarks to help you understand these different units.